There's, there's truth in what Victoria said, but to each his own. If you are a sex symbol, you will be regarded as one. Um, at a point, you know, it, let me give you an, let me play a scenario for you so that you don't be like, oh, my opinion, because it's like the opinion of the world. Beyonce is a sex symbol. Everybody knows she's sexy, but she don't understand her since they come. Gonna endure like one or two abuse. And then later, she now becomes this magnificent sex world, the whole symbol. Nicki Minaj is a sex symbol. Madame Tussaud, they made a statue of her on her knees, on her falls. Why? Then they now started getting angry when boys would go snap photo and be doing absurd things to, so to each his own. Now how, if one no fall, go to no go feel waka pass. So if you want to, if you, you have to, you, I remember one of my friends in the industry was telling me, girl as well, she said, why are we being boxed? Why are we being, why are we put in a box? Why do people say, oh, because you don't marry, you don't born, there's a certain way you are supposed to be. When your husband does not send, your husband is, as long as I love my wife, she's okay. That's the kind of husband I have. So I told her, I said, if you want people's perception to change, you have to start by being an example of what you want people to see, which you are doing. So by the time you get to the point where, because everybody has been a pioneer at some point, by the time you get to a point where now, today they see you say you wear sexy pants and everything, tomorrow they see you say mother, they will now, you know, they will be confused. They won't know how to view you anymore. They'll be like, Okay, let's just take her as she is. So I agree with Victoria, but I, I believe that instead of complaining, do something about it. If anybody is in your business that's not supposed to be, give them the middle finger and tell them to leave you the hell alone. Be who you want to be without having to care. <laughs>